Hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. My name is Shoeless Joe and today we are talking about what exactly is wellness, right? If we're going to be talking about wellness, we need to have a basis of what wellness means. And it might mean something a little bit different to everyone. Wellness is the state of being well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Not good, but well. But you might look at some people and think you say you're doing well, but I would not be doing well if I was in your circumstances, right? So it might be subjective in certain ways. And yet, if you chop off my head, anyone's head, I would say that none of them are doing well, despite the fact that they may try to tell you it's just a flesh wound, right? They're not they're not doing well. And I think one important thing that we need to be aware of when we're talking about wellness or thinking about wellness or assessing our own wellness is that wellness is very complex. It is very nuanced. It is very integrated into many different facets of our life. I think in the West, we sometimes have this idea of like health being like, is your body falling apart or is it strong? Which is true. That's an aspect of it. But of course, as we know, mental well being, spiritual well being, emotional well being, these all play a part. And here's the thing they're not separate. And I think we put them in their boxes. And we think, I need to exercise more, and that will help my body. And that is true. But guess what? It will also help your mental well-being as well. It will help your emotional well-being as well. All of these things are interconnected. It always just strikes me when I see that people are really focused on one type of well-being. And I do this too, by the way. (laughs) We tend to have one thing that we focus on, right? Like exercise or eating well. Those two often go hand in hand. People may focus on both of those. But what about your mental state? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you doing things that help you relax every day? Are you doing things that make you feel alive every day? So I think that's an important distinction to make when we kind of build a foundation or a baseline of what exactly it means to be well and to build our wellness. How you doing? How am I doing? Am I well? (laughs) Am I really doing well when I tell people I'm doing well? Or am I doing about as well as Samara down in the well? There are these guys called the Ula guys who categorize your wellness into seven Fs. Fitness, finance, family, field, faith, friends, and fun. How are you on all those? That's their kind of life balance. I feel like that's an interesting way of doing it is categorizing it. So you have these seven Fs that you say, How am I doing in this F? How am I doing in that F? I know for me personally, I probably don't think about my wellness as much as I should. There are certain aspects I do try to pay attention to, like my diet, but I don't nearly exercise as much as I should. I probably don't fit a lot of those categories like I should. Faith, fun, finances. Finances I've been doing pretty good at. We're going to talk more about that on Financial Friday. So today in the comments below, just tell us, do you feel well (laughs) overall? We're going to talk more about specifics later, but just today, do you feel well? Do you feel unwell? And I know that's a personal question, but just like for me, I feel pretty well. I tend to be, I tend to just balance. I tend to level off. Like no matter what's going on in my life, I often feel pretty, pretty okay. But there are many ways that I can improve my wellness. And if I get more well, if I well up my wellness, then I'm going to be that much better of a husband and a father and be able to help the wellness of those who I live with and who are stuck living with me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see everyone tomorrow for Theology Thursday. And remember to keep it simple, question everything, and stay radical. Goodbye forever, for now.